This is the package information. We've got on the left hand side we've got a curve which represents the maximum width of the wheel. On the right hand side we've got the centre line of the wheel and then in the middle we've got the section for the brake caliper. So what we need to do is bring in an image as a canvas image into the background and size it so that it fits with this CAD data. So if we do a file import canvas image pick the image that we want which is that one and when it comes in it's far too big it's not in the right place so we need to fix that so if we pick it as an object and then we go into the Windows editor canvas layer editor we can first of all invert it and that makes it a little bit easier to work with and we can also tone it down a bit make it a bit grayer something like that so that will make it easier for us to work over the top of first thing we want to do with that is to take that image and we want to move it into the right place at the minute you can see the the pivot point of that image is that green point there so if I move that around you can see that green point on the image there so we want that to be the center when we come to scale the image and the best point we can best position we can put that in is to put it at the center of the wheel so in other words the intersect of that line the center line of the wheel and the wheel axis so we're going to move that move that pivot point onto that intersect it doesn't have to be a hundred percent but in the right place because we're later on we're going to use the dimensions from this drawing rather than um, just graphically using the drawing so now we want to move that image into the right place and we're going to slide it down the end of that line because that's exactly where we want it we want it at that end point there so it's now aligned with the end of that line which is the center line of the wheel but we notice that it's far too big there's the caliper as a CAD model and there's the caliper on the image so we need to scale that down so we're just going to scale it and you can see it scales around the pivot point which is ideal and we just keep scaling that until it's roughly in the right place and so it looks like the, the brake caliper is now aligned properly but we don't actually know whether that CAD model is accurate to the drawing so what we should do is rather than just relying on that as a visual guide let's take a the biggest dimension on the image which is that one there where it says the diameter is 589 and so we're going to the way we're going to do that is by putting in a straight line so just degree one and we'll put that along the y-axis there and then we're going to move that using so I've picked it and then going into the information window we can look at the transformation information the minute it's not transformed anywhere it's not moved anywhere there's a translate in X Y and Z and we want to move it in Z by half that diameter and half that diameter the radius of course is 294.5 which takes us to that position so now what we want to do is we want to scale that image so that when we look at the image that line that we're measuring the diameter to aligns as perfectly as possible with that blue line in the CAD model so we're now going to scale that we know it's going to scale around the pivot point and make it as accurate as possible that's about that's about it so now we've got the image set up in exactly the right location ready to do the rest of the modeling